Hey YouTube, what's up? Do you want to win more TDM? Then watch this video to the end for tips on how to make things easier. In this video, I'll be going over my 10 beginner team deathmatch tips based on the experience I've had while playing. I know there are people who have different opinions, though my channel is for beginners. Now, I want to thank all you guys who have subscribed. It means a lot. Let's help us all build to 100. So having that said, if you haven't yet, first, make sure you subscribe, like this video, and then we'll get straight into it, guys. Hey everyone, I'm CJ Gamer, and welcome to another Modern Warfare Tips and Tricks video. Before I jump into it, I just want to give a big shout out to Tommy Blaze, JC Bad Gaming, DBlitz97, and Jurassic Fox. Check the channels out in the description, guys. I want to mention, guys, that I've been playing a ton of Team Deathmatch, mixing in different guns with both close range and long range. I've also had both a lot of wins and losses, which has given me a basic idea on some tips beginners could use to improve and win more Team Deathmatch. Alright, the first tip, use the right gun. This one explains itself. Using the right gun will get you good results and wins, and using the wrong gun will give you losses and a bit of frustration. Now, it can be hard to know whether a gun is right or wrong for the map or game. A simple example of this is using an SMG on Atlas Superstore, Perfect Sawmill, or Kanda Hideout. While everyone is using snipers and sitting at long points, you'll just end up as target practice like a chicken pecking at the ground. Or the reverse, like running a sniper on shipment trying to mount while everyone is jump shot in the corners with an MP5. For maps like Hackney Yard, Gunrunner, Ramaza, or Hard Hat, Try using SMGs or assault rifles, and on maps like Kanda Hideout or Atlas Superstore, use guns like snipers or LMGs. Though, just remember to pay attention to what everyone else is using, because it's never too late to change the class mid-game to prevent further deaths. You want to always be trying to counter what everyone else is doing. The second tip is to spread out. Now this tip makes me both laugh and frustrated, because I've come across a lot of funny situations that have made me laugh and annoyed at the same time. There always seems to be one of three ways that TDM games end up. 1. The team rushes for the best camp spot and they all sit in the building, with claymores and proximity mines everywhere. There's also about 3 munition boxes all together. 2. The whole team sits in the spawn which leads to easy kills for the enemies, as it lures them in along with 10 cluster strikes, 3 VTOLs, 1 chop gunner, 1 support helo, 1 gunship, and enemy UAV, enemy UAV, enemy UAV. And then there's 3. The whole team spreads out whether some are rushing or camping, it doesn't matter because the team has each other's back with snipers, rushes, slow plays and one sweat, which creates a balance that smashes out most games. So decide for yourself, but remember guys, if the team sits in the one spot, it may lose you many games. Spreading out will help. Okay, the third tip follows the second a little, and that's to run in groups of two. This is important for beginners because not everyone can rush or carry first up. Plus, it's not always smart to run on your own because the other team may be running in twos or threes, which ends up getting you shot down. And because of the way the netcode works in these games, you may shoot a whole mag into them, but just to die and see in the kill cam that you never shot. However, having two or more guns firing should guarantee the enemy's death. Another thing as well, is in some moments you could have each other's back and save one another. So give it a go and try along with someone, or get others to follow you guys. The fourth tip is to run UAV or counter UAV every game. A must do, mostly for beginners, because it gives an entire support for the team and can help you get more kills. UAV is great to either push or protect, because your team could be going in and a friendly UAV can assist them to know where the enemies are, helping everyone towards victory. Or you could be going one way and the UAV pings the map and you see someone coming around for a flank and then you have time to counter them right at the moment. Counter UAV is great in the opposite way, blocking or scrambling the enemy's radar, making it just a little bit safer to go around. It's good for games when half the enemy team is throwing constant UAVs up, so a counter would make all those streaks pointless. It's especially great for people who closely watch the compass, because they won't be able to know where the shots are coming from or whose shots they are. So always run one of the two. You can save the other two streaks for something more aggressive. Now the fifth tip is to listen for the footsteps. This one may get a lot of negative comments, but either way, it's a great tip for beginners. Because when it comes to any games, but more importantly Call of Duty, I believe it's important to adjust to whatever is in the game, like jetpacks, specialist, or loud footsteps. Depending on the map, when coming to certain corners or doors, throw your crash away towards it, and if you hear any footsteps, then you can be sure there's someone coming. It's managed to get me many kills in Team Deathmatch, and even kept me alive for longer. I wouldn't call it camping, because you could rush around most of the game, but still slowly crouch towards select areas to listen for the footsteps. The sixth tip is don't die the same way twice. This isn't an interesting yet frustrating tip, because I constantly come across people who do it in many rounds. And don't get me wrong, I do it here and there too, because sometimes I can get a bit carried away. So the main point of this tip is if too many people on your team do it over and over, the game will be over before you know it. 
I'll explain a little. Say you're going around, someone gets a dirty kill on you, which triggers you and you skip the kill cam to go rushing back for them. And then guess what happens next? They get the same dirty kill on you again. Now, one of two things happens after the second death. Either people learn and move on, or they keep going on and on and rack up like 15 to 20 kills for the enemy team. So take a brief moment guys, if you see this happening to you, move on and get them later on. Alright, tip 7 is to aim at the chest or neck. Now this one is a given, because you might just die a lot and end up competing to have the highest deaths. Because when you're approaching for a kill, it works in steps. You lock your crosshair, aim in and start shooting. And the objective behind it all is to get a kill. So why not do it as fast as possible by getting headshots? This can be achieved by aiming at the chest or neck. Because by aiming at either places, it's close enough to the head and the recoil of the gun should pull the shot up toward a headshot, all in quick succession. So instead of having to concentrate on aiming for one, you can just rely on your recoil. And even if it doesn't get a headshot, shooting higher will do more damage than shooting at the legs. So it's still guarantee faster kill time. The eighth tip is to pre-aim at everything. Now this may sound obvious because you think it's just a habit to come around any corner and aim. But it's more than just corners and especially with this game and even more so in Team Deathmatch. When I say aim, I mean everything. Because there's people everywhere, so you want to be 100% ready for whatever may be coming out of wherever. It will help your reaction time be faster and you can catch a lot of enemies off guard. You will also be able to line shots up better. Added on with tip 7, aiming at the neck or chest, you should be dropping a lot more people. It works well for other things like pre-aiming at windows, doors, stairs and all kinds of camp spots. The ninth tip is human body armor. Now before you laugh or get confused, it's a pretty good tip for TDM. It's been a great tip for all shooting games and it's perfect for Call of Duty. Let me give a basic rundown. You see some guys and start shooting each other, but you can't quite drop them. And then a friendly teammate walks by, so you think to yourself and let them go first, which makes them act as a bullet sponge or you kill the enemy completely unharmed. Now I'm all for team in TDM, so don't go look around to do this to everyone. It kind of happens in the moment when others are not aware. Consider it like they're taking the bait. It's all good just as long as you don't lose the game or you die as well, because that would be pointless. If you can, try your hardest to get a safe here so the enemy doesn't get any kills, which causes a lot of them to rage after that. It's a great way to reverse bait enemies and get you some easy kills. Finally, tip 10 is don't give up. Now this can sound more like a statement someone's saying to you, other than a piece of advice someone is giving you. But it's pretty powerful and useful because when you're playing around and the look of the enemy score being higher and the constant deaths on your team can affect your confidence on how the round will end. And it's amazing to say that this can have a domino effect when one teammate stops trying and then another and then another and then finally your team ends up getting crushed. But there's something I personally like to do myself which is either talk to the mic and tell the team to keep going and I say push guys or I switch to my best class and I start pushing the enemies myself and after I get a UOV and then the team sees I got a bloodthirsty the rest of them start pushing as well which surprisingly ends up winning out of the game most of the time or at least close to it. Even if nobody's talking, if people see someone picking up the score they might give it a try and then the enemies end up getting swarmed. So no matter what, keep pushing guys and keep up the grind. Okay that's the end of my 10 beginner team deathmatch tips. I hope you all enjoyed the video. If you want to see more videos on better class setups, game modes, gameplay, road to Damascus, collaborations, completing challenges or ranking up then leave a comment below and let me know what you want to see guys. Also if you haven't already, don't forget to subscribe, like this video and hit that notification bell to keep up to date. I upload every Saturday so stay tuned for more tips and tricks on Modern Warfare. Thanks for watching guys, I'm CJ Gamer and I'll see you in the next one.